Welcome Flyfers. So today we want to take a look at all the quality of life changes that got introduced in Flyfe Universe and are, that are going to make your life so much easier and reduce your frustration. And again we want to say thank you to Ponens um, for letting us use this footage and all the work he put into it. And now let's get right started with the first topic. Um, as you may see already here there's a big green beam and the new drop align system is pretty similar to the one that we are used from Diablo 3. So basically if there's a rare item that's dropped on the ground, you can see it by the beam. This is, um, since many people are using CS pads, this is out at first might not seem like a big deal because your CS pad is picking up everything anyways. But in Flyf, um, some loots can be bugged due to different um, heights in the map or sometimes they are even like below the ground so you can't see them. And this future will make sure that um, yeah, you basically can't miss a rare drop due to a weird area bug. So a pretty good one here. And of course they, they changed the, um, the way stuff is shown on the ground as well so this means if you're dropping a blink ring you will see a blink ring and stuff like this so it's not always this stupid item box that is looking like someone is putting put some cats into your bag and trying to sunk them so we now have like decent designs for different items and another one is let's first talk about a bit about the inventory the inventory, um, it is looking like there's a whole lot of locks in there and this is true, but um, this is case many players need inventory space. It was a huge issue in Flyve PC not having enough and the devs took care of it. But on the other hand, they probably want to sell um, some kind of quality of life features in the cash shop. So there's going to be quests that you can do to unlock inventory slots. And I assume it's not confirmed, but I'm pretty, really sure that there will be a cash shop item unlocking more slots for you as well, or as an alternative to not doing the quests. And since we're having a really big inventory and no one likes to search for a specific item that he has stored in his character for a long time, they have a non case sensitive search bar on the top which is pretty neat, especially if you're packed and loaded after a farm session and you want to look if you maybe dropped something that you need before you trash it all out. Another part is the new advanced um, stat system that you can see. Usually when you press H, you would only see like um, your attack speed, your crit rate, stuff like this. And basically if you're pressing H now, you can see every value that is important for your character this means you can see the block rate you can see the um uh, what's it called the parry rate and stuff like that you can see um your attack bonus that you're getting currently here it's probably from the lightning four attack so it's going to 12 percent so all important information is on one place now well this is not a new future if you're played like a Flyve PSP server or anything like this. This future has been around for more than 10 years, but never made an appearance, uh, a real appearance on Flyve PC. So I'm really happy to have this one here because it's making um, like min maxing your gear way, way easier. So next up is um, opponents, sorry. Next up is another important feature. Um, it is called the Lock EXP. And in Flyve, it is really important that on farm characters, you are staying at a certain drop range. So usually the drop rate is 100% um, if you're plus three levels above the mob or minus three levels below the mob. And for every level, that, are, that you are not fitting, you will lose 10% of your drop rate. 
this is how it's working so you want to stay basically as close as possible to the mobs that you are farming and this future is amazing because yeah how you do it in 5 pc you maybe have like a level 83 master farmer for events and then you need like some character that is more than 20 levels above him so they are not giving exp to each other and you have basically have to always have a higher level character to farm with a low level one without or without out leveling the area that you actually want to farm in and this is one of the best quality of life features because it's giving a real benefit to everyone now we also have the achievement system that got introduced there's a whole bunch of achievements um, that you can do based on different topics and um, also giving some of them give you new titles that got designed with funny names which is pretty awesome and one good thing that i really like is the um is the monster part of the achievements so the more monsters you kill off a monster you will receive more attack damage on this this is going up to level 5 where you receive 15 percent attack rate and as we already mentioned with the exp stop usually on fly if there's an event you farm certain monsters for a long period of time over and over and this achievement system will make your normal farming even though it's like maybe a low mob or on a side character um, way more efficient so there's actually a big value in here because um, yeah, some people could maybe argue, yeah, those are mobs. I just leveled there for like a few hours. I will never get this title. And the attack percent is only for this mob. But due to events, this is pretty good and valuable. And something else that's definitely worth noting. They are now rewarding you for the time you spend in the game. It's currently not working on the test server, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be working when we have the release. So basically, if you're connected for 10 minutes or like up to 40 minutes, you will always get a reward going and those rewards will be random. So they will not be the same time. It's basically like um, pulling on a slot machine and you get like a, one lucky part. And now, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Pawnants really like this new emote because this is actually giving players the opportunity to unequip their weapon design basically without unequipping their weapon so you can yeah like you see right here the weapon is away but it's still um, in his inventory he's still wearing it and as you can see right here i am not sure why they actually introduced this um to see mode i can't really think of a usage of it the only downside i can think of for example if you're having a new weapon that you think is really ugly and you want to take it over and usually you use a skin effect so basically you mod a different weapon on top of your one that is only for appearance so you can choose what you like best for example if you're a jester and you're running around with an LG yo-yo which looks kind of crappy you can put a bloody yo-yo on top of it and still have the effect of the LG yo-yo going but have the design of the bloody yo-yo and i hope that this emote is not the replacement for the skinning option. I hope they will also implement the skin option so you have more unique ways of designing your character style. So now next up are all kinds of different user interfaces that you like to use. There's already been like a poll in Discord where people decided or like gave their opinion on which user face they like the most and which one they are going to use and basically the game has everything to offer in user face options that are currently available and yeah usually there's no option taken because you will always use the gold interface because it had an action slot um, of six while all the other user faces only had an action slot space of five skills that were possible so if you want to have the max efficiency everyone would have gone gold but they did adjust the gold future here to also have only have five action slots so you're free to choose whatever you like and whatever fits your case the most now something that's I don't know why that never was implemented that's total standard for every game nowadays that you can set your own hotkeys for whatever you want and yeah it's a quality of life that's probably not even worth mentioning because it's standard nowadays and people would probably just be mad if it's not there and not like be happy that it is there and this will also give you the option to run all the game with a controller 
So pretty neat for the people that don't like to use the keyboard and the mouse. Um, from Flive PC, we are already know the extended camera view angle where you could increase the um, amount of space that is basically between the camera and your character yourself. And um, in here they changed it to be flawless uh, with a field of view option that's basically allowing you to zoom out of your character. As this is not as useful for, um, for PvE, it is pretty useful for PvP where you want to have a, big, a good overview of all your enemies and stuff like that, but you still want to have them big enough so you can actually hit them and click them. So this is a pretty neat, neat future. And of course for content creators, this will allow a whole kind of different options for taking screenshot videos and stuff like that. So it's overall pretty neat. And yeah, one thing that in my opinion is the best change ever. I have no idea why it's not on Flive PC. It has been on P servers forever, ever, ever. And since Flive is a team play game and you're trying to always play with eight players at the same time to use the maximum efficiency of your party, it makes sense that there's a party finder where you can just see who's maybe missing some players here. You see it's only two out of eight players in there. So you can join in with your characters. You will see if they have the party scrolls active, so they're actually benefiting if they're using the skills. It's just so much easier than like having to buy a full shot or something like this, shouting for a pair, um, running through the city, trying to get a party going. It's, it's like really annoying and this is saving a lot of time from everyone.